It's shaping up as a great season for basketball in the northwest suburbs. Our first CCX Sports Spotlight of the winter season features a Park Center boys standout. For Park Center senior guard Jackson Folks, the big time atmosphere at the Breakdown Classic as they pulled out an epic win against another top team, Lakeville North, felt like a dress rehearsal for the state tournament. I wasn't too focused on the crowd, but you can definitely see there's a lot of people there, some college coaches, but uh, we were all just focused on the game and after, after the game, you know, after we were walking around watching the other games, it definitely felt like the state tournament environment. And we knew it was going to be a dog fight and, you know, we, a game of runs, we had a big lead and, you know, they, they cut it close towards halftime and, you know, we were down by five with about two minutes left. Coach worked all the time out and we, we all just believed in each other and uh, played team basketball and ended up getting the win. Folks is known first and foremost as a shooter with a deadly stroke on his threes. But slumps can and do happen, even for him. Freshman through, soft, through senior year, I spent a lot of time in the gym with Coach Ware. Uh, he was a great shooter. The first two games of the year, I was actually struggling with my threes. Um, I think I was one for 12 at the start of the year in the first two games. And I sat down with Coach Ware and we had a talk. And one of the things, he was just giving me tips about things he would do before the games. And the main one was he would shoot faster than he did in warm-ups than in the games so that once he got to the games, it would feel slow and it would slow down. And lastly, just uh, having confidence and believing that it goes in. So I've been able to shoot it well the past two games. And I'm going to try to continue that going forward. Jackson was a super sub for the Pirates state runner-up team last season, averaging in double figures as a sixth man. He told me, you know, I, I could have started on the team last year, but he liked my role coming off the bench when everybody else was tired and that I had the ability to, to do whatever I want. But uh, like he told me, you know, it takes sacrifice and you got to do what's best for the team. So I put my ego aside and came off the bench, but still got the role that I wanted to play, so I was happy with it. This season, it's apparent his overall game has grown, whether it's on the offensive end where he's become far more than a jump shooter. We know that teams scout us, they know I can shoot, so especially utilizing the pump fake and the jab and the head fake to drive to the basket once they close out to either play make for my other teammates or to get an easy layup for myself. It's definitely opened my game up. And the dirty work like defense and rebounding are part of his game now too. Yeah, he's one of those guys that, um, you know, has really stepped up on the defensive end. And he's, you know, really versatile for us where he can be able to guard guards uh, and he can go in the post and guard bigs too. So that's really huge for him. I mean, he's six foot five and, um, you know, has uh, the size to be able to guard all positions. And uh, with his athleticism, uh, he has the confidence to do it. And those are the things that you got to be able to do at the next level, especially if you want to play and help your team out. Last year, I didn't have to do that as much because we had big guys like CJ, Cade, and Joe, and even Chang last year. But now we've got Chang, but we haven't got every other, we're not a huge team, so I know that I've got to rebound more. Folks is excelling on the court, but also in the classroom where he has a 3.9 GPA and hopes to study business and finance in college. Yeah, I take pride in school. You know, my parents always told me one day the ball's gonna stop bouncing and you've gotta know uh, what to do after that. So uh, I always take care of my grades and everything. That's something that he's been uh, doing ever since I've known him as a freshman. You know, he's been uh, you know brought up to make sure that he gets his grades done and uh, works hard for it and there's been you know times in his uh, years when he was younger where he wasn't allowed to come to practice because he didn't have his work done so he's, he's been uh, had that development from a young age. Park Center is a pretty star-studded team with a lot of guys who can score and a lot who will play in college but for Jackson folks the team still comes first more than his point total or individual glory. You just got to play the game the right way some games will be big scoring nights for you some games will be low scoring nights for you, depending on how the game goes and the flow of the game. So I just believe playing within the flow of the game and letting what happens, happens, and you'll be rewarded for it. For the CCX Sports Spotlight, I'm Jay Wilcox. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.